The Onion's Election 2012, We Decide, Not You. Brought to you by 7-Eleven or 7-Election. Voting rights available at participating locations only. Election Day is approaching, and it's almost time for you to make your voice heard while a small group of billionaire campaign donors decide the election. To help you prepare, here now is The Onion's in-depth voter's guide to Democratic candidate, Barack Obama. The first thing voters should know about Barack Obama is that he has never actually experienced hope before and is purely working off of other people's descriptions of what hope feels like. We're going to offer the politics of hope. Although he has evoked the concept of hope on hundreds of occasions in his political career, Obama, in fact, has never felt anything but total hopelessness and frequently requires aides to brief him on what a person feeling hope might look or sound like. Another important fact for voters to consider is that Barack Obama was actually president once before, from 2008 to 2012. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thus, if elected, Barack Obama will actually be serving his second term as a U.S. president, which may come as a surprise to many voters. God bless you. It is also worth noting that Barack Obama is the father of two young daughters, Donna and Brenda. On the key issue of gay marriage, Barack Obama has offered his support. They've got to be treated like every other American. But admits that his views on the subject are always evolving and that he could see himself vehemently opposing same-sex unions at some point in the future. Obama says that his views on gay marriage evolve so quickly and so erratically that it is truly impossible to say where he might stand on the issue in even a few months' time. He might support gay marriage, or he might believe that marriage is a sacred bond designed only for a man and a woman, or between whatever selection of sexes the human race may have evolved into at that time. On the issue of abortion, Barack Obama has always firmly maintained that a woman should terminate an unwanted pregnancy just once for herself, to see if she likes it or not. Obama maintains that even a woman who opposes abortion should at least try it, because what if she doesn't hate it? What if she thinks it's actually kind of great? These are the questions that Obama would like all women to consider. If Obama is re-elected for a second term, what would the country look like? Political pundit Jim Haley offers his projection. Uh, I don't know. I guess we could probably expect to see continuing tensions among Democrats and Republicans. Uh, definitely a few more mass shootings at schools or malls or wherever. Another terrible album by LMFAO. A new Avengers movie with Josh Whedon writing and directing. Also, probably a slew of poorly received new NBC sitcoms. Everyone getting slightly fatter. You know, the economy, that kind of stuff. And finally, what is the most important issue in this election? The only thing of any real importance in this world, the only thing at all, is love. This is all meaningless. This video doesn't matter. This election doesn't matter. And Barack Obama and Mitt Romney certainly don't matter. So long as you have love in your life. A presidential term lasts only four years, but love, love lasts a lifetime. When I was 18, I fell in love. Real love too, not some naive high school romance. But I was young and cocky and I let her slip away and there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about that. About what could have been. God, about what should have been. So heading into the 2012 presidential election, there's really only one piece of advice. Fall in love, settle down, make a life together. That's your only hope. Beyond that, everything is garbage.